Alright guys, welcome back. Uh, this is part two. Where we last left off, we were going to head down the cave after obtaining, obtaining Simeon Slam. I was trying to record this about, I don't know, maybe 10 to 20 minutes ago and uh, my mic decided not to record. I have completely no idea why unless I need the headphone jack in at the same time. Anyway, come out of the island for the first time. Squawk tells us that there's an island off to the side of K. Rool's fortress that we need to go to. Uh, these are called banana ports, as Squawk was going to tell us. There are five in each level, and once you find them, you can teleport between the two pads. It's extremely useful in most cases. As you can tell, there's the first one. <clears throat> this is K. Lumsey. He's telling us that K. Rule captured him and put him here because he didn't want to destroy DK Island. And DK says we'll help him get out. And he opens up each area for you. Because he's so heavy, I guess you could say. He has now opened up this first area. And our first golden banana. <clears throat> Anyway, as we go back outside, I'll show off the banana board. Our first little level area, I guess you could say, is right here. First, we need the golden banana. This is the first time you'll encounter these guys. They're called Bee Lockers. And you need a certain number of golden bananas in order to get through them. And we have one golden banana, so he let us through. They will show these cutscenes. I'm not completely sure, but I think they'll show them after you leave levels too, but every time you enter a new level, I believe they will show one of these cutscenes that shows him your progress. This is our first area, the Jungle Japes. It is probably my personal favorite level the entire game. In the entire game. Squawk's telling us to collect as many normal bananas as possible, and then go to one of those, I believe it's Trough and Scoff, uh, areas to take you to the boss. There are 100 normal bananas, 5 golden bananas, 1 blueprint, and lot of banana coins in each level for each conch. This opens up the first area. Here are our first banana coins. You use these to buy items or buy potions from Cranky that gives you new moves. This is the main part of the level. We will rarely be going back to the first part. We see Diddy Kong trapped in a cage, and he's telling you to help him. And then Squawk is going to come and tell you to help him. It's very annoying to see Squawk all the time. Anyway, walk over those two banana ports. First, we will activate this banana port. Then, you want to come over here and climb up this vine tree kind of thing. 
you will see a battle arena pad. I'm not stepping on it because Squawk will uh, explain to you what it is like he always does. This is Funky Kong. He is your weapon. Uh, he basically supplies every Kong with weapons and weapon upgrades. He is probably my favorite Kong that is not a main character in this game. Alright, so now we have the banana gun. Uh, not banana gun, coconut gun. He's telling you Z to transport into these K roll battle arenas. This one's called Beaver Brawl. A whole bunch of beavers will come out of there. You have to survive the time limit, but I'm not sure if you have to kill a certain amount in order to get it. I was lucky they didn't get hit. I normally get hit at least once per round. As you can tell, it's pretty easy. It'll get a lot harder later, but it's still pretty easy. Jump up and grab the crown, and that will, uh, well, it'll get you the crown. Alright, now for the gun. You press Z and left to take it out, and up to go into first person mode. Later you'll be able to zoom. You also press the same button combination you do to get it out in order to, uh, put it back up as well. I believe there are bananas for DK. Yep, right here. It's easy to miss bananas in this level, but the majority that you'll probably miss are in the top of the trees. You get your first golden banana up level right here. It's probably the second simple. Well, it is the second simplest banana in the game. Diddy Kong's telling you there's three coconut gun switches that you need to hit in order to release them. Um, I think I'll go here first. Activate this banana. Alright, these... Oops, let me get these. These are banana balloons. They will hold ten bananas in them all the time. So there will be no more, no less. Seeing if there's bananas up here. Nope. Alright. Now, to release Diddy Kong. Let's see if there's any bananas up here. Yep. Alright, the first one you'll want to hit... Whoops. Well, that was... a fail, majorly. I hate how they swim extremely slow when they're... Kind of like directly at water level. Okay. Banana. Uh, why did you keep saying banana? Sorry about that, guys. I missed the first one, so I guess I'll just go ahead and get this. The first switch is right here. It's one of three. Hopefully we'll have enough to release Diddy. Take this to right here. Is there one right here? Yep. That'll activate the second. And now we need to go back to Funky's shop. Not really a shop, but area. Okay, slow down this time. Okay, last one's right there. And that will unlock Diddy Kong's cage, and he will now be usable. You'll have to go to the tag barrel in order to use him, though. Let's get that golden banana really quickly. Alright guys, I will end the video here, so I'll see you all next time. Bye.
Bye.